Hello guys, welcome to today's tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make realistic landscapes in just a few minutes using Tree Sculptor app, which is a super great software. It's very useful and it's free. So let's start. Um, when you open up the software, you'll see this. Uh, this thing and what you're gonna do is to create new con new project and as you can see right here I have this option called UDK but if you're using this software for the first time you'll probably don't have this option and I'm going to show you how to get this and explain to you what is this UDK ba basically means Unreal Dev Kit and you'll get these options it's uh, your landscape size, uh, landscape size. You want, maybe you want a very small landscape, 127 by 127, or very gigantic size, 2017 by 2017. Let's say we want a really huge landscape, so we'll, so we pick this one and press OK, and here we are. And in order to zoom out very fast, click on this. You can. Oh, it's not super fast it takes a bit a bit of time sometimes it's fast sometimes it's not and it's very painful to zoom out yeah I say it's enough okay I'm going to show you how to uh, get that option so we go to the tools settings and from here we go to dim dimensions. Dimension? I, I, I'm not sure. Okay. We should uh, check on UDK landscape. If you're using CryEngine, you should check CryEngine. Make sure uh, that your range be 20, 256 to 2048. And one thing that you want to do, uh, one more thing, is go to ruler and units. Make sure your unit be a centimeter and one unit equals one centimeter. And that's it. That's all. Okay, so um, let's generate our landscape. Here in this section, you'll see generate and you see a bunch of options. These are general options like um, blue noise map, perlin, random, rigged, and I'm not sure how to pronounce this one. You can pick any of these that you want, and I'll, I'm just going to show you one of them because if I want to show you each and every single one of them, it takes lots of time. We go with the first one, and here you see this window pops up in your viewport. We have, uh, as you, uh, as I told you, those were general options. And each of them has its own unique um, landscape shapes. I, I'm not sure how to. Uh, each of them has their unique presence. Like this one has islands, lakes, rivers, and I'll show you how each of them works. You can make a sci-fi landscapes, desert landscape, or any of any anything that you want. If you don't find them here, you can check the general options from here, like Perlin one or Rigged one. So let's say we want to make a landscape with lakes. So we click on lakes. And even each of these uh, presents has their own options yeah, or types. Like here, we have five types of lake lakes presence like river low bumpy lake we go with this one and I'll explain to you how or what or every single one of these are one cool thing that you do you can do is randomizing the seed until you get your favorite result like I'm already good with this one I think it's a very good result so we have layout you can drag and drop it it can uh, it changes the it just works like seed but not exactly 
then we have details which is self-explanatory you can uh, increase and decrease the detail and roughness your I should say um, you should balance uh, your details and roughness together like I usually decrease the detail and increase roughness till I get my uh, favorite result so let's say our we want our detail to be at full maximum at 16 and our roughness at 53 it seems a bit weird very rough but then we have shapes option which gives your landscape different shapes you can try and try each one of them to get your favorite result like number three seems to be pretty cool mm, or even number two let's go with number three and decrease the roughness a bit yeah then we have density which it's just changes your landscape size but not size how should say density that's it maybe you want high density something like that or low density something like that depends on you to pick anyone in any of them that you want let's go with this one Yeah, this one, this seems to be very good. Then we have gain, which is simply its height. We can increase the height of our landscape. As you can see like this, look like very full of mountains. Or we can decrease our height. Let's do some, with something like that. It seems to be pretty cool. Then we have offset which I'm not sure what it does, it just there, it doesn't do much so let's say we're, we want to use this landscape, no let me, you know, in fact let me decrease the roughness a bit yeah let's say we want to use this landscape, so we click on OK and it will load it just takes I don't know about zero or four seconds, and here we are with our landscape. So now we want to export our landscape. So what we're going to do is to click on File. If you want, you can save your your landscape file to change it later on if you want to. But we're just going to export it for now. We pick a folder for it. So we pick a folder for it and we name it. I'll name it test. And one thing that you wanna do is to put it on PNG. That's what we want for Unreal Engine. Click on save and you have to be careful for the, with the settings. Format should be 16 bit grayscale and source should be grayscale. Click on OK. And we just wait. Yeah, it's finished already. So we go to Unreal Engine 4. We have our project right here. We go to the uh, landscape tab. We usually should be like this, something like this, on the create new. I've already given it a sim very simple material, it's just grass. We click on import fi from file. Click on this triple dot from height map file. We just pick our map that we just created let me find it it's here test png and one more thing that you should keep in mind is this a scale section usually it should be on everything should be on 100 but you have to change the z section something between 30 to 45 like that i'll go with 35 and enter you can see the preview then click, I'm happy with that and we click on import we wait until the engine 
finish with importing the map and here we are huge landscape with just a couple of clicks oh it seems the uh, landscape is a bit down let me just change the location so here we are huge landscape it seems realistic enough with just a couple of clicks and remember with all those options you can make tons of different shapes like mountain landscape desert landscape sci-fi landscape you're free to use any of them that you want and uh, I'm just so tutorial is already finished I'm just going to add a bunch of foliage hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial make sure to leave a like subs and subscribe I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Goodbye.